Now, one of the areas that I have covered on this show uh, time and again is the DVLA. And I was pretty critical of the DVLA uh, because, of course, during all this difficulty with COVID, there were strikes that took place. And I thought that was wrong. Well, getting the latest up-to-date information, you know, if you're waiting for a driving test, you're waiting for a provisional license, you've sent in your license because it's expired and you're waiting for it to be renewed, the chances are you could be in for a long, long wait. I've had a lot of emails from people saying their great difficulties, some people not even able to go back to work because they haven't got a valid driving license. Now, we have been in touch today with the DVLA uh, and they've explained to us that the current number of paper applications waiting to be processed is 839,000. That's nearly a million people uh, who are inconvenienced by what is going on at DVLA. They claim that this is not because of strikes. They claim this is not because of working from home. They say most people are back in the office. But Marmalade, who are a big car insurer, their estimate is that when it comes to getting driving tests, for example, the backlog won't be cleared until January 2024, which leaves all sorts of people in a very difficult position. Well, joining me now, a case study on this is Laura Riddy, and she's waiting for her provisional license. Laura, so you want to get your provisional license. Do you have to have yeah. that? Do you have to have that before you can do the theory test and then, of course, the practical? Yeah, you can't do anything um, without your provisional license. Um, because you need, I think there's a number on it that you need to book your theory and your driving lessons, um, which I've been waiting for for coming up to seven months now. So you've been waiting for seven months for this. And are there lots of your yeah. friends in a similar position? Um, yeah, there are. There are some that, you know, have had theirs and, you know, they've done their theory. Um, and there are some that are also still waiting Um like, we can't get through to the DVLA, the tracking doesn't get updated, like, we don't get told anything. And I bet, and I bet, I mean, I, you know, I can remember being your age and wanting to pass that driving test, wanting to get the first car, wanting to feel mm -hmm. you're an adult, you're free. I mean, it's a really exciting yeah. thing to go through. Do you have a message for the DVLA, Laura? Um, I just think that it's really unfair that there are a lot of people that, you know, want to start becoming more independent driving like it's it's a new like chapter and we haven't been able to go out for like year like two years now um and now we can we're getting held back by something else and how do you get around this if you can't drive uh it's not easy i've been like i have a job and the only way i can get there is spending money on ubers as i would walk but you know it's dark night still the weather's awful and it's not the safest um no no. So it's costing me a lot of money. No, I get it for all of those mm -hmm. reasons. And you are one yep. of many, many people in this position. And I cross my fingers for you uh, that hopefully after this interview, you go to the top of the list. Let's see. Laura, I really, hope thank, so. <laughs> thank you for joining us.